Hey, what's going on? This is Mike. I'm back again with another video. Today I got this Kia Forte in for an exterior wash, paint correction, and sealant. If you like watching detailing videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. In the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm using the Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner, which is the professional choice for fast and effective non-acid based cleaning for OEM factory clear coated and chrome wheels. And you can see when I was scrubbing the tires how brown they were the first time and after I hosed them off I went and sprayed this on again and cleaned the wheel for the second time. You'll keep cleaning these wheels until you get the white foaming action going on so you know you got a really clean tire. Pretty much on most of my details I do use, I use the Torque 6 Foam Blaster from Chemical Guys. And then the soap I'm using is a citrus uh, wash and gloss with a clean slate. Since this car is going to be being paint correction and sealant, I don't have no worries. These wool synthetic mitts that I have, I have one by Chemical Guys and one by Adams. If you guys have never used these wool mitts before, they're excellent. I highly recommend them. They hold a lot of soap, a lot of water. They are harmless to paint. They don't leave swirls and scratches. I, I, I really like these. Clay bar is a classic favorite of detailing professionals and enthusiasts that remove light to medium levels of contamination to make rough vehicle paint work feel smooth again. To help the clay bar glide across the surface without getting stuck, or marring the glossy shine, I use the same soap I used the washed car with. Now as the clay bar grabs onto the surface, contamination stuck on top of the paint, it won't get stuck to or mar the paintwork's finish. Heavy duty 1.3 horsepower sidekick blower dries an entire motorcycle and removes water from inaccessible areas of your car and blasts dust from the AC vents and shift knobs quickly and easily. The blaster sidekick features a convenient carrying handle and a flexible rubber hose cone nozzle that directs air into all the nooks and crannies and won't scratch the paint if you accidentally bump the surface. Not every car requires a three-step polishing job. For cars with light to moderate swirl marks, scratches, and defects, 
the VSS is the perfect one step polish that cuts hard like a compound and then finishes like a fine polish to restore a lustrous shine and deep reflection in a fraction of the time of the standard two or three step polish. It's the fastest way to get mirror like finish of all types of paint. The drill attachment I use is perfect for tight small areas or hard to reach to where I can't get with my DA polisher. Works out pretty good. first stage and using the DA polisher you want to move about one inch per second use a crosshatch pattern and repeat that process twice on each panel so what that means is you go up and down then you go left and right then you go up and down again and then left and right again and then you'll do that on each panel as you make your way across the entire vehicle IPA spray there, isopropyl alcohol, helps make sure I get all that wax in there, clear everything off so there's no residue left behind. My DA polisher has six beads on it. I started out around two to spread the product around. And then I move it up to between five and six to actually do the cutting and polishing.
Advanced polish is formulated using diminishing abrasive technology. These innovative abrasive cuts faster to re quickly remove swirls, scratches, oxidation, and 2500 grit sandy marks. Then finishes like a fine polish to create a wet mirror finish on painted surfaces. VSS restores a lustrous, scratch-free finish without filling in or covering up swirls, scratches, or defects. dogs with me the old english bulldog her name is harley she's always around no matter where i go she will always be there 
Uh, she, she'll always bring her toy out. She wants to play tug of war sometimes with me. It's pretty funny. But my little bulldog here, probably one of the best dogs ever. She's pretty good dog. <laughs> I'm gonna go around for the last time on the vehicle. I'm gonna use wet mirror finish. It's a unique gloss magnifying glaze that takes any vehicle shine to the next level while reducing static charge on the vehicle surface to minimize dirt and dust abrasions. It's easy to apply, you just squeeze three to five dots of glaze onto your foam or microfiber applicator pad and then apply it to the entire vehicle in the thin even coat. I just use the crosshatch pattern up and down, side to side, allow the glaze to bond to the surface for about 15 minutes, buff off with a premium microfiber towel. Once removed, allow 30 minutes to cure time before adding a second coat if desired. The synthetic formula bonds to the surface at a nanotech level for a brilliant shine with a slick finish. The penetrating formula goes deep into a light swirls under scratches creating an even surface that better reflects the light for an extra wet shine. Wet mirror finish cleanses paintwork, fills minor swirls and scratches and bonds to the surface to enhance the color and adding a lustrous shine. There's nothing more frustrating than a fresh dust settling on your car after a full detail. Wet mirror finish contains a special static reducing agent that helps prevent dust, dirt from sticking to the paint over time, keeping the car cleaner for longer. Gloss enhancers and UV blockers deliver a bright, crisp shine for deep reflection that protects the paint from sun damages and fading. So after letting it dry and sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, I'll go around and wipe the whole car down, spray a little IPA on it to get all the excess residue off of it and get ready for the final product. After the car is all wiped down, I'm going to go along, open up all the doors, 
clean up all the door jams. I did all the vacuuming on the inside. And then I'm just gonna wipe down some of the plastics just to make sure that when they get this when the customer gets this car back it looks magnificent. There was no holding back after this point.